So here we have the two versions of the TP-Link smart plug. Now on the left here we've got the HS100 and then we've got the newer KP105 on the right here. Now I've also got the energy versions of the original ones, the HS110. And I've had the original ones for quite a long time. I've got several of them. They've been very good, very reliable, never gone wrong. Uh, the app's really good uh, and they work very well. But this year, um, for some Christmas lights and things like that, I wanted to buy some more. So initially I was going to buy um, the HS110, this version with the energy monitoring from Amazon for about $14.99. But then I discovered that the newer version, uh, the KP105, was available on an offer where you could buy two for £20. So I went for that. The only downside I was thinking of was that the original version has been very reliable and there are some sort of reviews on Amazon about the uh, the newer version going wrong after several months. Obviously, I've only just bought these, so I've not come across any problems yet, but I will report back if I do come across any problems. But I sort of just wanted to tell you about the differences if you were looking at buying the new ones or the old ones, because you can still get the older versions as well as obviously the new ones. So let's look at the old one first. On the old one, the main difference obviously you can see is the size, but on the older one, we did have a nice kind of Wi-Fi uh, illuminated symbol uh, with the on and off button and this is where you'd manually turn it on and off by pressing it in which was nice uh, on the newer one we haven't got a wi-fi kind of illuminated um, symbol but we've just got a single little dot light here on the front now there's several different statuses for the uh, lights on the new one so at, at the top there uh, the solid amber is a boot or reboot uh, alternating amber and green is the soft AP function and slow flashing green, soft AP connecting, connected by the app, should I say, and quick flashing green connecting to the home network. And now solid red is disconnected from the home network and quick flashing amber means uh, resetting or reset. Now the original one did also have a reset button on the top of the unit as well. But the newer version doesn't seem to have that reset button whatsoever. So the button on the side on the newer version, um, basically you still turn it on and off by pressing it in and out. But this time, um, if you want to go into the soft AP mode, you press and hold the button for five seconds. But if you want to factory do a factory reset on it, you actually press and hold the button for 10 seconds. That's the on off button on the side. So you'd hold that in for 10 seconds, whereas you'd press the separate button on the top, um, use that button for on the older version. On the older version, um, the settings were on the actual button on the top, you'd hold that in for five seconds or until the Wi-Fi LED blinks amber and green to initiate the app configuration process. Or you'd press and hold it for 10 seconds or until the Wi-Fi LED blinks amber uh, rapidly to denote a factory reset. On the Wi-Fi LEDs, it would blink uh, amber and green uh, app would, that which means app configuring process, green for connecting to the network and amber factory reset. Green light meant the network connection was established, uh, amber meant it was rebooting and red meant there was no network connection on the Wi-Fi LED and on the power LED because there was separate lighting for those obviously it was either on or off for the power. Uh, so other than that it's all about size to be honest as you can see um, it's a lot shorter than the old one. And then if we look at the side and try and compare them side by side, you will see it's also a lot thinner. So it's going to take up less space in your plug sockets than the, uh, than the original one. So a few facts about the uh, different smart plugs. The HS100, the older version, it's actually um, 3.9 inches uh, high, uh, 2.6 inches wide and 3 inches deep. Let's put that in millimetres for you. It's 100.3 millimetres high, 66.3 millimetres wide and 77 millimetres deep. And it weighs 131.8 grams. And the maximum load on that is 13 amps or 2.99 kilowatts. 
Now on the um, KP105, obviously the dimensions are smaller, um, but the dimensions in height are 51.5 millimeters, uh, 72.5 millimeters uh, width, and 37.5 millimeters deep. And that's apparently without the pins, so it's slightly different uh, measurements there. And the weight on this one is 90 grams, so a lot lighter. And again, the maximum load is the same though, 13 amps. Other than that, there's not much difference, to be honest. It's the same app um, that uses both of them. Very easy to set them up. Just go into the app, turn them on, and it finds it. Add it to your uh, Wi-Fi router, and it works straight away. You can even change the icons and the names of them. And in there, you can change the timings to come on at sunset, sunrise, or at certain times, certain days of the week, etc., etc. So very user-friendly. And I really recommend them both. If you fancy purchasing any of these smart plugs, then I've put some UK links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you like your tech videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.